last episode, we learned about how to link up our design file with our code file by creating these IB outlets and IB actions. Now, today we're going to talk about one of the most common mistakes that people make when they're new to iOS development. And I'm first going to replicate how this mistake gets made. So if we have a look over here, my first IB outlet is called Dice Image View 1, which is exactly how we wanted to name it. But the second one, I've accidentally spelt it wrong. Now, the error happens when you try to go and fix it. So let's see if I can do that. So instead of calling it, I can't spell Image View 2, I'm going to call it Dice image view two, right? Okay, so now it looks great. I've fixed the spelling error. But the first indication of a mistake that we're about to make is if you look at this little circle. Do you remember before we mentioned that when the circle is filled, it means that the connection is active. But now the circle is actually empty, and it's not linked to anything. And if I go ahead and run this app right now, you will see it crash and, well, hopefully not burn. And our app has crashed and we can tell this is so because the app is no longer working. And also we've got this red highlighting telling you that there is a problem. And also the debug area pops up telling you that it's terminating app due to uncaught exception NS unknown key exception. And this is a very, very common error that you'll see. So when you're debugging Xcode projects, it can seem very difficult in the beginning, but over time you'll start getting used to these error codes and what they mean. Now, the important keywords in this error message is this class is not key value coding compliant for the key I can't spell image view to. Now to translate, Xcode is trying to tell you that there was something called I can't spell image view two, which it can now no longer find. Now, why is this? Let's go hunting for this error. So I'm just going to reduce the size of this debug area. And I'm going to head into the main storyboard to show on the left. So where does Xcode get this key? I can't spell image view two. Well, that was what Dice Image View 2 used to be called before we decided to rename it, right? So by renaming this, we've actually broken the connection because when we hover over it, it no longer highlights the second image view. But that connection is a piece of XML code that exists in main.storyboard. So if we go right click on main.storyboard and we open as source code, you can see that down here, there are connections. And there's one outlet that's called Dice Image View 1, and there's another outlet, the key in this error, which is called I can't smell image view 2. Now, this is a line of code in the main storyboard that gets written when we create that connection. But because we haven't broken that connection when we renamed it, then this is why you get the app crashing for that IP outlet in the code file. So how should we modify IB outlets and IB actions? Well, whenever you decide to change the spelling or change or delete maybe one of the IB outlets or IB actions, the first thing you have to do is to break that connection. And we can see it by right clicking on this image view. So if I right click there, I can see that it has a reference outlet to the view controller with a key called I can't spell image view two. So because I'm getting rid of that, I have to break that connection by clicking that little cross button by breaking that connection. I erase that little bit of code in the uh, XML file. Now, when you look at the outlets, it will only have one outlet and the other one is now gone. So then I can recreate a connection to the newly named Dice Image View 2. So again, in the same way that you created the previous ones, you hold down control, you click on the image view and you drag it over. Now, slightly different from before, before we were looking for this blue line to tell us where to drop it. Now, because we have this line already written, we're going to aim for the name, which is Dice Image View 2. And now you can see this is slightly different because it actually highlights in blue the whole area. 
And when I drop it here, it links it up to this line of code. And you can see now it's again working beautifully. So whenever you're trying to delete IB outlets or edit IB outlets or IB actions, any connections basically, make sure you have a look at what that outlet or action is linked to and right click on it to break that connection first before you edit any code. So whenever in your debug area, you get this line that says this class is not key value coding compliant, you should think first and foremost, whether if you recently changed something that has a connection to the main dot storyboard or to the design file. If your debug area looks slightly different from mine, so currently I'm running my app on a physical device, but if you are running your app on the simulator, your debug area might look slightly different because of some Xcode junk in there. And in the next episode, we're gonna talk quickly about how to get rid of that junk log. So this is the keyword to remember, this class is not key value coding compliant. And what it means is that there is a unbroken connection to something that no longer exists in the code. And in the next lesson, we're gonna talk about a quick hack about cleaning up your debug area. So keep a note of this particular error and make sure you have a look back at this video if anything similar like this happens to you. Um, but otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson.